Welcome to a, another video that will explain this time how to use Google SketchUp for 3D printing. So when you first open SketchUp you will come, uh, this little blue window will pop up and you want to choose the 3D printing uh, in millimeters template. I find it a good one to use. Um, it's right down the very bottom of your template selector. Right down the bottom here, 3D printing in millimeters and cl click start using SketchUp. Um, I find it's a useful template to use because as you can see it gives you the build envelope for the MakerBot Replicator 2. So that means whenever you draw whatever model you're drawing you can just draw beside the, uh, the build envelope here and you can make sure that your models will fit inside the Replicator and can be, uh, can be made easily. Of course if you don't have a replicator or if this wire frame here is annoying you can always delete it. Um, so just to draw very quickly uh, I always have the large tool set uh, activated and visible. View, toolbars, large tool set. That's just always my default position. Gives you more, uh, more options for drawing. So just to draw something very quickly just for, as an example Let's just draw a rectangle and I'll just extrude it up. Uh, let's draw a, uh, a bit of a cylinder on top of it, uh, just, just for an example. But of course you could do whatever you would like in SketchUp um, and get this all ready for 3D printing. I do find that Google SketchUp being a surface modeling CAD package that was never designed for 3D printing if your designs are getting very complicated and if you're using lots of line and then trying to make solid objects that it can be problematic. I have had issues uh, with SketchUp misbehaving and we'll see if this one will work. I have had issues with the misbehaving if objects start getting a bit too complicated uh, the meshes don't seem to work very well and I end up with some errors because SketchUp was designed as a surface modeling software. That means, as you can see when I zoom right inside my model, it is completely hollow inside. Whereas normal 3D CAD modeling packages uh, are generally solid modeling. So SketchUp files need to be converted from surface modeling to solid modeling and that can cause some issues. But if your model is nice and simple, it should work. Uh, one other little tip I'd like to share with you when using SketchUp, and this is kind of fun, and that's the use of font. Fonts in SketchUp will 3D print quite nicely, and that really does get fun when you start using webdings or wingdings and these kind of objects. So this little hand here, as you can see when I zoom right in on it, will 3D print quite nicely. Um, right now it's a component, um, but that will 3D print, we can resize it, we can rescale it and if we explode the component uh, explode it, there it is, we can actually now manipulate it and we can do, you know, do whatever we like to, and it will actually 3D print quite nicely. So we can edit it now, we can mess around with it um, and make changes to it. And that will 3D print quite nicely. So quite a, a, a neat little tip because you can go to websites like this one, dafont.com, and download fun little dingbats, there are numbers of them here, uh, for 3D printing purposes. And so long as your object or your font that you, that you choose is a nice silhouette, not too, complica not too complex, like these cats would all 3D print without too many issues, I think this eagle here would definitely struggle, but that bull's head might 3D print quite nicely. And so there are literally thousands of options for 3D printing. Obviously I think those animals across here in the middle would not 3D print. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're working on your models. So if I'm happy with my model, and now I would like to, I just might rescale that, bring it up a little bit. Yeah, if I'm happy with my model, let's see if this one will 3D print for me. Um, what you need to do is go across to the File, Export, 3D Model. Go and just call this one uh, Test. 
The default setting is for a DAE file type. If you are running uh, the trial version of SketchUp 2014, you may have the STL file format option. That's the one we want. So if you have an STL file, then select it. If, like me, you just have the free version and you uh, just select DAE, and then we'll convert it. So I'm just going to save my test file, my DAE file, to my desktop. And now I'm going to convert it to an STL file format. And I do that by my favorite STL file converter called MeshLab, a new empty project. Import the mesh. I call it test. Open it up. And there we have it. And there's my file, what I just created, as you can see. It'll be interesting to see how that internal of the hand, if that prints out or not. Might be a bit of a hollow space by looking at it there. So I may have actually turned it into a bit of a hole. We'll see how that goes. So there's my file. I can now file, export mesh, and I'm going to make it an STL file format. That is the one we want. Click on save. Okay, and off it goes. So now I can now hopefully import this file into the MakerBot software. So add the file, test STL for my desktop. There it is. Open it up, rescale the object, and there it is exactly the same as it was in SketchUp. So look at that little hand there. Yep, looks like that's going to turn up as sort of a a raised hole in my in my work so that could be quite cool we'll see how it turns out so i'm going to send this off to the printer and let's see how she prints